Loyalty. So this video was supposed to come out on Monday, I believe, but unfortunately, life. I've just been a lot more busier than I expected. Nonetheless, there are two big pieces of advice I want to give you all. Number one, just because a player isn't in this list doesn't mean I haven't predicted him already. A card is going to appear, and if you click on the channel, click on the playlist section, and then you click on roster update predictions, that playlist, if you check out the previous weeks or two weeks ago, you will see players that will most likely get upgraded this week that I have already predicted. Some of those players include Chris Bryant, it might include Jesse Winker, but Jesse Winker is a tough one, and let me tell you why. Jesse Winker is sort of like JD Martinez. He's a great hitter, especially against one side versus left-handers his splits are horrendous and then his fielding is atrocious so clearly for him to get that diamond upgrade in my personal opinion they would have to upgrade his fielding so i don't i'm not too high on him i'm not too sold on him it is a possibility but if i had to give it a percentage it would be like 20 percent so we don't have chris bryan here we don't have jesse winker and in terms of pitchers we don't have them either we are going to have our official meaning hitters and pitchers the final cut coming out on tuesday so if you haven't hit that red subscribe button already make Make sure you hit that red subscribe button make sure you turn on the channel notifications and let it all start off with a man that has been raking as of late for the tampa bay rays and that's going to be austin meadows now austin meadows originally i had his price as too high to buy in and the reason i had it as too high to buy in is because before this friday his price was around 500 stubs or 400 stubs sell now etc and i said there is no way he's making a jump to gold and the only time you buy a player around that price is whenever they're making that jump to gold now yes i see him going up i see his splits against right handers going up and i see him going up to 75 76 77 overall but i don't see his splits against left handers going up because his splits in real life have been atrocious against left handers yes he's having a power surge but if you look at the power surge it's against right handers so i see him going up to a silver but i don't see him going up to a gold anytime soon now my biggest piece of advice if you believe that he can go up to a gold which is completely possible as the season continues on friday when they do the roster update this friday his price will plummet once he hits silver once his price plummets once he hits silver you can be a smart investor and say hey let me go ahead and buy him now as a silver you can buy a ton of him now for example and then sell them off on thursday and then buy them all again on friday for a discounted price and then hold on to them until he goes gold if you believe he can go gold but as of right now he is not a hold for gold to me at least right now he's just a silver now we're gonna go to the boston red sox for the boston red sox hunter renfro has been doing a great job and even if he doesn't get upgraded this week which i think it is highly unlikely that he makes the jump to gold this week but it is possible i do like him as a long-term investment for gold the reason i like him as a long-term investment for gold is because he already has diamond fielding he has diamond fielding all he needs to do is heat up against right handers if he's able to boost his average against right handers to let's say 250 that should at least give him 15 points in terms of contact versus right which in my personal opinion is going to be more than enough to push him to gold considering the fielding is already diamond like you can't really ask for much more and then after that we're going to go to the mets and for the mets these are some players that i believe long term can go gold for the mets you got james mccann james mccann if i saw anything being upgraded this week it would definitely be his contact versus left and then his power versus left because he's been hitting for power against both sides and i think they deserve a little bit of an upgrade now i see him going up to 78 79 overall i still don't see him making that gold but another reason why he's a long-term investment is because of the gold defense that gold defense is going to help him out tremendously whenever he does pick it up against right handers or has a hot stretch against right handers that should help him out tremendously all the mets need to do is get just i don't want to say how do I say this correctly without being a yo? They just have to get into the rhythm of things as an offense, and then they'll be straight. So Pavin Smith, I see his contact versus right, I see his power versus right, and I see his power versus left. Now the end game overall for him, if he does get upgraded, I see it going to 73, 74 overall. Overall, he's a hold for silver. And if you buy him right now, you're able to buy him for 25 stubs and then flip him for 100 stubs quick sell if he does end up going silver. So definitely a good idea to go ahead and invest in him. Now, up next is going to be a man that apparently you can't put his apostrophe in MLB The Show or else it won't appear. Tyler O'Neill has been doing a great job of hitting. I see his contact versus right, power versus right, power versus left. I have him as a hold for gold if he doesn't go 
gold this week but in general i have him as a hold for diamond so even if he does go gold i wouldn't suggest selling him i say you hold on to him because with the diamond defense and common hitting all he needs to do is get his hitting up to like silver gold level and then he'll be straight and the way he's swinging the bat right now it is looking very likely so make sure you guys invest in him and then once you do invest in him make sure you hold him all the way for diamond because it is completely possible this season i have high hopes for tyler o'neill Yohan Moncada, long-term hold for gold. He's been ripping right now. He's hitting home runs. He's doing his thing. I see contact versus right, contact versus left, power versus right, and then I don't see anything happening in a power versus left yet. I see him getting upgraded to 78, 79 overall, but he is another hold for gold. He is not going to be a hold for diamond yet. What I would do personally is I would sell him at gold or I would sell him on Thursday and then I would buy him at the quick sell value if he does end up going gold. Probably not this Friday, but sometime in the future. Up next on the list is going to be someone that in my live streams, which I live stream each and every single day at 1 a.m. Eastern, someone has been nonstop talking about Randall Gritchick. Now, Randall Gritchick. I see his contact versus left and power versus left being increased more. Unfortunately, against right-handers, he's not having the best time in the world. But if he does raise up that split, he is a lock-in for gold. I promise you that. He is a lock-in for gold. So all he needs to do is have maybe a hot week or two against right-handers. And then, boom, he's going to get that 80 overall gold. I would see it jumping up to even higher, maybe an 81. As you guys can see, all he needs is a plus 5 on each side. And then he's going gold. So definitely someone else that you want to invest in. He's really hot right now and definitely has... Has the potential of going gold and now we're going to talk about another hold for diamond here and it's going to be starling marte now the reason starling marte is a hold for diamond is he's already been a diamond in previous mlb the shows he has gold defense which is helping him out a lot and then as of right now he's performing really well against left-handers in terms of contact and then in terms of slugging he's performing well against both sides so i see both of those sides being upgraded i see him going up to maybe an 84 it's possible an 85 but i wouldn't say it's as likely but it's possible who knows matt olsen and max muncie when i tell you guys they made jumps to diamond that i never expected they did but starting marte is also one of those sneaky guys that can make the jump without anybody expecting it and right now he's selling for 1.2k so make sure you stay tuned because on tuesday as i said previously we're gonna be dropping another video with the final cuts for this week's roster update josh reddick i like him a lot as well he's been hitting really well ever since he got picked up by the arizona diamondbacks i see all his attributes getting even if it's the minimal the minimal increases i see him going up to 77 78 he does have that potential for gold but it's gonna be difficult but he does have the potential now we're gonna go to who i believe is the mlb leader in terms of hits i'm not sure if he's still the mlb leader in terms of batting average but this guy is having a season i see everything being increased in terms of contact power except for power versus right if he gets those slugging numbers against right handers up he's gonna be a hold for diamond right now if he does get the upgrade i see him going up to an 83 but he is definitely a potential hold for diamond and right now you can get him for the quick sell value of 1k i I wouldn't purchase him for anything higher than 1.5k get him for the quick sell value and then if he does end up going or if he does get an upgrade to an 83 his price is going to jump a little bit and then if he does go diamond you're going to be able to make 4k a pop so what's better than that araberto mondesi unfortunately mondesi got himself injured with his hamstring he re-aggravated it or something but they're playing smart with him but ever since he has come back he's been hot right now he is a sneaky investment even though he's selling for quite a bit he is a sneaky investment he definitely has that hold for gold and then he has that potential hold for diamond because of his fielding now if he comes in and he's hitting extremely well after his hamstring is all gucci and everything he is definitely going to be on everyone's radar when it comes when it comes to hold for gold. Carlos Correa has been having a week. He's been having a week. So I see his contact versus left and power versus right. He's a hold for diamond. You should know that already. It's Carlos Correa, baby. I got nothing but love for Carlos Correa. Got him as a hold for diamond. I think long term, all he needs to do is have a hot streak against right handers. And he does get that diamond. He has been a diamond before and I'm going to be the show. So it isn't going to be that hard for him to regain that. Steven Duggar, I see all of his hitting attributes being upgraded. I see him hitting a 73 overall. He's going to be a hold for silver. Someone else that I like a lot is Daza from the Colorado Rockies. Same thing with him. I see everything being upgraded except for his power versus right. See him going up to 75 overall. He's a hold for silver as well. And we're going to talk about a catcher from the Kansas City Royals. He goes by the name of Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez, right now he's selling for cheap. 
he's been hitting really well in terms of power this season so those numbers could get upgraded once he figures it out against left-handers then i could see those numbers being upgraded as well if he has a hot streak against left-handers that's when you guys want to 100 start buying in because that's when he will 100 be a candidate for hope for diamond but in general right now i like his price at 1.5k whenever i see a gold that has a chance of going diamond in the future selling for less than 2k that's always to me eye-catching because if at the end of the day you're not able to let's say or he's not able to go diamond his price if he heats up throughout the season it's not going to stay at 1.2k so even if it jumps to 1.8k you're still going to be making profit from that now let's talk about someone from the arizona diamondbacks right Ketel Marte. Ketel Marte, he came back from injury. He's hitting really well against all sides. I see all numbers being increased, even if it's the minimal. He's a hold for diamond. That's all you need to know. Buy as many Ketel Martes as you guys can, because he's definitely a hold for diamond. When it comes to pitching, like I said, on Tuesday, we will have the pitchers. I wanted the pitchers to get a little bit more time in terms of starts, etc., before I go ahead and predict any. But if I had to give you guys a sneak peek right now, I say I like Lance Lynn still a lot. He wasn't upgraded in the last roster update in terms of attributes, but I think this week is his week. He had a really good outing with seven strikeouts. His last outing, it wasn't the greatest in the world considering he only had four strikeouts, but if Lance Lynn is going to go diamond, he needs to get those K numbers up. I promise you, he gets at least seven strikeouts a game while pitching five to six innings. He's going to go up. It's mandatory. Now, Marcus Simeon, I see his contact versus right. I see his power versus right. I see both of those going up. I see him going up to an 83 overall. Now, the biggest change, which they did to Vladimir Guerrero Jr., but they haven't done to Marcus, is if they make him a second baseman, which is the position he's playing for the Toronto Blue Jays, he's going to go diamond. Now, that's all we're waiting for, SDS. Make him a second baseman so he can jump in terms of overall and he can become a diamond. I think he is a great investment as well, and he's selling for a good price. Now we're going to talk about someone who's been having a hot week, but in general has basically struggled. He's selling for 1K right now. Francisco Lindor, I don't think he's going to stay th throughout the entire season, hitting how, he see, how, hitting how he's hitting. He's going to pick it up. And once he picks it up, he started off as a diamond. So all he needs to do is get his numbers back around 250, 275, and he's going to shoot back up to diamond. I promise you that. Right now, if you can get him for 1K, you're going to be getting a steal because you're going to be making 4K a pop. I don't see him getting upgraded this week. It's possible, but I just don't see it. But long term, I do believe he's going to go back to diamond. So 1K, you can quick sell him back and basically make all your money. Ozzy Albies, I like a lot as well. Ozzy Albies currently... I see his numbers against left-handers getting another attribute upgrade. Now, I don't think it's going to be as drastic as plus 13, plus 13, but they could do something like that. And Ozzy Albies is definitely a hold for diamond candidate. Once he figures it out against right-handers, it's going to be over for the league. But he's had a couple of years to figure that out, but he's still 24. All he needs to do is really lock in there. He has a hot streak against right-handers. He's going to get that contact up, that power up, and then he's going to be a lock in for diamond. So also someone else... I recommend as a hold for diamond and then we're going all the way to course field in course field we have charlie blackman charlie blackman has been hitting really really well but i still don't believe that this week is going to be the week that he goes gold but i still believe that in general he is someone you want to invest in because he has jumped as far as diamond in mlb the show while having horrible fielding he's been one of those players rare unique players that has been able to make it and i think it's because he had a month where he got a lightning card that he just played out of his mind. Once Charlie Blackman figures it out, which currently he's figuring it out, he's slugging better than he has been slugging the entire season, and he's better than he's been hitting the entire season. Once he figures that out, he's gonna go back to gold. So he's a hold for gold for me. Definitely someone else you guys want to go ahead and invest in. And then last but not least, it was last season's MVP. He started off the year slow, but if there's something to take away from Jose Abreu is that since he has come to the league each and every season, he has hit like 275, has hit 25 home runs and has gotten at least like 80 RBIs or something like that. I don't know what the stats are exactly, but I know I've seen it before either on an MLB game or on MLB network. The kid is a monster and the kid in my personal opinion, it's definitely going to go back to diamond. He just needs to get those numbers against right-handers up. Versus left-handers, he doesn't have much room, but he definitely can still do it. I don't think he's getting an upgrade this week, but it's still completely possible. Definitely someone I want you all investing in as well, because he's selling for under 1.5K. 
if he gets hot, which he is going to get hot, you can flip him right now and make stubs, basically. Once he gets hot, he's going to be selling for a lot more, and you're going to have a great chance. Now, if I missed any player that you thought could have gotten a roster upgrade, make sure you go ahead and check out the playlist, which is going to be on the channel, and it's going to appear as a card, and you go ahead and see, hey, did he include this guy on a previous roster upgrade predictions? And if I did, well, there you go. If I didn't, comment him down below, and I will go ahead and give you my review on that player. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. Hit that like button, rest subscribe button, turn on the channel notifications, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.